six of our airmen over in Poland right now. About 10 years old, so this was a, a relatively recent addition. And this was All those folks kind of around the table with us so we can coordinate and uh, help integrate those air assets. And everybody's working together. Mm -hmm. Yep, and usually this is in another, another big, huge Army tent that has their pretending their you know, one of the Air Force, the Air Operations Center, the higher echelon that we have to coordinate with. And uh, also the, there's like Intel, intelligence injects with. Them. Is that the first time you've been able to do that with this kind of equipment? Uh, that uh, recently got the ball rolling for us uh, within the last couple months. So we've had a couple test runs, uh, but still kind of working out the camp. Oh, amazing. Let's go to the simulator. Uh, yeah. Morris, mm -hmm. okay. in there. All right, this way. Well, this is when I was active duty, we had very small things. Everybody it is. Did. You can fire the weapon, you can throw simulated hand grenades. And what happens is This part is interesting. <laughs> so, I, this, this. so you have a physical therapist there. You have someone who can perform chiropractic. You have someone who can perform medical evaluations on site with them. So that when we think of, uh, we have supporting whatever may be going on in the state. So in, in my heart, that's the highlight of this building. I know it seems kind of backwards in, in some people's mind because they say, well, the operational necessity, how are we best preparing our airmen to succeed in combat? And when you talk with soldiers and airmen, they have really uh, appreciated the opportunity to perform the missions that we have over the last couple of years. Um, and uh, they're, they're very rewarded uh, by being able to have a, you know, an important job and make a difference for our people. And uh, so. Yeah, we're, we're going to do even better in, in a couple of new buildings here, uh, but, uh, but morale is really high. We're that's good, doing, that's good to really hear. Well. It's one thing I always worry about, especially when we're asking so much of everybody. To... Right. Well, the last couple of years, we were pretty busy. We, uh, gosh, there was one period uh, where we actually had every member of the Washington National Guard on some kind of order, and that's the first time that it happened since World War II. And not just being there to serve people. But they've gone through the same stress as everybody else has, right. with their families, with COVID, and uh, and the really tough challenges that families have been facing. So, um, just yeah, please pass along my thanks to everybody serving. Absolutely, you bet. Absolutely. Thank you again. And I'll keep doing my part to get you facilities and training, Thank and you. hopefully someday health care. <laughs> 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 right? Yeah. Thanks. Good. Good. All right. Well, thank awesome. you. Thank Great you to be here. You're welcome. Yeah. All right.